Hi, my name is Henry Cook and I'm an education designer. At AEL, we publish a blog around learning and teaching, practice and development. Recently, with the attention on Pebblepad, we've been writing an ongoing series addressing some of the tips and tricks we've found through the use of the platform. This video will focus on Atlas and what considerations to make when selecting its use for your course. Atlas, at its core, is the simple platform where student submissions are stored and feedback is distributed back through Pebblepad. However, to really utilize this platform effectively, your thought into its use should stem further into the design of the activity. Do you want students to be able to see each other's submissions or not? Do you want students to build their work from the ground up or simply respond to a set workbook? Is work progressively checked on or is it only required for a final submission? And is the work marked within certain milestones or is there just one mark at the end? These are all options possible within Atlas and greatly affect the interactions and requirements when students complete the task. For example, your task could be a workbook for students to fill out which then requires their fellow students to comment on and peer review each other's submissions. This would require an auto-submit workbook to a single Atlas workspace with altered permissions for its members within that workspace. With so many custom parameters available through Atlas, we found it's incredibly important to map out how you want your students to interact with the platform at each step of the assessment. An excellent way of doing this is once you've set up your Atlas space, to how you feel is correct, simply go through the process yourself of creating the assessment. To take note of what you are able to accomplish and how that reflects on the requirements of the assessment is just as important. Once you have your completed assessment, you could take it a step further and use it as an exemplar for students of what they can do to complete the assignment. This is a good exercise to get across because as we found, it is just an as important for your students to understand what is required of them to complete the task, especially on such an open platform like Pebblepad. Now, moving forward, the best bet is to get in touch with your group L&T team to discuss further the design and the setup uh, parameters within Atlas in line with your assessment. Or view our blog, alprofessionallearning.wordpress.com for more on this topic and many others within Pebblepad and learning and teaching.